in this video, we're gonna be going over how you can make competitive print-on-demand designs in bulk with a little bit of free help from ChatGBT. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do some market research on how to make said design, followed by actually creating the design in bulk, followed by getting our designs ready to get them posted in our Etsy shop. This is actually a strategy that I saw on my friend Cassie Johnson's channel, and I thought it was absolutely gold how she incorporated chat GBT into it but put a little bit of my own spin on it of how I would personally do it for my use case and guys if you haven't already checked it out I have launched a new podcast called till death stop me and actually Cassie was one of my first interviewees and she told us about her entire story of how she started getting into this world of e-commerce specifically on Etsy print on demand if you guys want to check that out make sure you cue it above so you can watch that that full interview after this video. Welcome back guys, my name is Hannah Gardner. If you're new to the channel, I teach people how to build brands mainly on Etsy, but also on Shopify. I am a multiple seven figure seller and I basically have been documenting my e-commerce journey here on YouTube. So if that is something you are interested in learning more about, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Much gratitude goes out to you. Every new subscriber, I wake up every day just so thankful that people are still tuning in. So thank you so, so much. As we know in print on demand today, it's really important that we're not only coming up with super creative and competitive designs, but we also are creating many, many listings that spread across many, many niches or even micro niches. This is a really beautiful thing about this model is because the amount of horizontal people that you can reach across a bunch of different niches is really, really impactful. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. For instance, if I wanted to think of something that is a little bit broader, right? Let's say the medical field, right? Inside of the medical field, if you were going to design shirts or mugs or something for the print on demand space, there are so, so many things that you can make that have to do with people that exist inside the medical field. You have doctors, you have dentists, you have nurses, you have PAs. Let's just start with one of those broad branches. So inside of my Etsy here, I'm going to type in the keyword nurse. Let's see what shows up. So I have a Chrome extension downloaded, which is called Sales Samurai. And that is why you're able to see this little blue mark here, right? And what it's showing me is search volume for the broad key term nurse, right? And nurse is still pretty broad, but let's see what shows up here as far as nurse. As you can see in the Chrome extension, you will see that it's spinning back to me a bunch of associated keywords with its search volume and its competition. The opportunities that we wanna prioritize is keyword opportunities or product opportunities that have high search but lower competition because that means that it would be easier in a sense to basically rank or get organically indexed a lot faster than say for a main keyword here that, or a main product idea here that has a lot of competition. Now, it's not to say that you shouldn't go after a product opportunities that don't also have high competition and high search, but if you happen to find those opportunities, we wanna prioritize those opportunities first. So one that just stands down to me is this one here. So you have ECMO nurse shirt. When I click on it, you will see that it has about a thousand searches per month, but the competition is less than 2000. Now we also have this guy here, PCU nurse, right? So I don't even know what those mean because I'm not in the medical field, but again, under 2000 competition. Whereas if you look at just nurse shirt, right? You have 200,000 competition. Most of these are in the hundreds of thousands of competition. So comparatively, right? Even though the search volume is a little bit more, the ratio of search to competition 
on these two opportunities is much, 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 much less. I really, really like those opportunities. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually click on this and we're gonna go see what designs people are putting out for that. Some pretty basic designs here. So what we wanna do when we're looking at our competition here is we don't wanna copy anyone, but we wanna get inspired by, you know, what's trending, what kind of mock-up colors are trending, what type of fonts are trending, right? And how can we get inspired by that and then go out and do our own designs? Based off the search volume alone, this is a pretty good uh, design product, design opportunity that I would probably wanna capitalize on and make sure that that's pretty much my priority. But how can we incorporate chat GPT into this? So I am not in the medical field, so I don't know anything about nurses. So if I come to chat GBT right now, Sal Samurai just told us that obviously a bunch of different names for nurses. So let's ask chat GBT, list all the different types of nurses. And it just gave me back an entire list of nurses that we can now make shirts for. And I'm gonna show you how this is gonna be done in bulk here in a second. And again, I just wanna shout out Cassie Johnson because this is really, really genius that she thought to do this. Keep this list in mind because we're gonna use this later on. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to use Canva. So if you are not familiar with Canva, Canva is literally like Photoshop for beginners. It is literally the easiest graphic design platform out there. At the top here, I just typed in retro because right now retro, anything retro on apparel is like super, super trending. So right off the bat, they're gonna give me like literally so many templates of the most trending fonts, color schemes. Um, you can, it's literally laying out like how the fonts are being laid out for you. Obviously in Canva, you can't just take, you know, this and then throw it onto a mock-up and then sell it because that's not allowed. You, you actually have to make your own design if you're going to resell it. But what this does, especially if you're new at graphic design, it literally makes graphic design like made for beginners. I really like this and I really like this font. And like I said, what Canva does for you is it just like gives you so much inspiration. It, sh it shows you what looks good together. So it takes a lot of the thinking out of the design, right? But I really like this guy right here. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is just resize this to the correct size. Now, I just want you to see just how easy Canva is. So obviously we can't just take this and steal it. What we're gonna want to do is actually get, like I said, similarly get inspired by it and then recreate our own design. What else do we know that is trending? So just in general, like this, this retro multicolor, you know, font wording is really trending, not just in nursing, but across the board. How can we recreate that here in Canva? Remember, because we have this here, we actually can just pull the exact color codes from this guy and incorporate that into this design here. So if I come in here and click this, guess what? Those colors and the colors that match are right there. So I'm actually gonna just go ahead and start changing each letter. And there is our design right there. Now you may be wondering, how can this be a scalable situation here? So the next thing that I am going to do, right? If this is literally the design, ChatGBT gave us back a list of 50 different, potentially different designs that we could make, right? As long as it is ending in nurse, right? You have pediatric nurse, oncology nurse, cardiac nurse, neonatal nurse. All of those are potentially different designs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually copy this entire list here. I just pasted that entire list here. This is where the really, really cool part happens. As long as the last word is nurse, right? We have a bunch of different potential design ideas, right? What we want to do is go ahead and re erase everything else besides the first word that comes before nurse. Now, some of these 
are just too long and I don't want to spend the time researching them. I'm going to erase some of these that I just don't know. So I'm just going to go like this. So even after I went ahead and deleted a bunch of these, I still am ending up with 28 designs. I'm going to go ahead and file and download this as a CSV file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come back into my design here and I'm going to go into the apps section here and I'm going to click bulk create and then I can upload the CSV and guys the reason this is one color is because in order for this to have the bulk effect it, it, it's not going to be able to pick up on multicolors, and that's why one is just one color but I kind of like it like that because it makes it stand out and puts emphasis on the type of nurse that they are and again remember micro niche is like this because it's not just a nurse shirt it's speaking to a very very specific customer avatar so somebody that's like in oncology and they're a nurse right that's a very specific type of nurse shirt so it just heightens the value proposition this is where I'm talking about how there is so much micro niching scalability because this type of scenario exists across the board right in so many different fields like in pets right think of the hundreds of types of dogs and types of cats or if it's sports there's types of sports and then there's types of teams right we're gonna come up here and we're gonna hit upload csv and we are gonna go and click on this guy here we can see this guy is if we hit connect data we can hit register and then we can click continue. Now, actually one thing that I wanna do before is I actually wanna delete this top one here because once I generate 27 pages, it's gonna duplicate this. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete that. Now, as you can see, the word registered here is a lot bigger. So one thing that I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm actually going to try to size this a little bit smaller so that it fits into the page. And a lot of the words that we are using are longer words. So we are going to actually wanna go ahead and make this smaller because as soon as I hit generate 27 pages, it's going to make 27 designs with those filled in. So let's go ahead and generate 27 pages. So now you can see we have our 27 designs. Some of them came in great and some of them do need to be moved still a little bit which is totally fine because it takes two seconds. But for the most part, it really did the trick. So from here, basically after we check everything, we're gonna wanna actually come over here and hit share. We're gonna wanna hit download. We're gonna download them obviously with a transparent background. We're gonna wanna download all pages and hit download. Remember that the really hot um, keyword that had the higher search with the lower comp um, that had nurse at the end of it, nurse, the type of nurse, was that ECMO nurse. So I'm gonna actually want to go ahead and make more designs in that one particularly to test out. So I put in here, make catchy sayings for a t-shirt design about ECMO nurses. And guys, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong. Some of these actually sound pretty good that you could actually go ahead and use on a shirt. So now we need to get all these bulk uploaded to Etsy. So I'm inside my My Designs count, which is very similar to like a Printify or Printful. But the really cool thing about My Designs specifically is that it allows you to bulk publish designs. And this is a really key thing with My Designs. But they allow you to bulk upload everything at one time. So if I come in here and click upload, I can upload those 28 files here and we can click upload all. Again, the beautiful, beautiful thing with my designs is that everything can be done in bulk. That means your titles, your tags, your descriptions. So the first thing that we need to do obviously is fix you know, your titles, tags, and descriptions. Now, obviously you're gonna wanna add in certain other keywords to be more specific to each listing because it is a little bit different from the next. But for the most part, a lot of the tags and the description is gonna be pretty much the same. So to bulk upload this, we come up here and we'll select the range. So we just uploaded 
28 of these in bulk, I wanna say. I come up here and select the range one to 21, eight, hit okay. We're gonna click actions. We're gonna hit edit in bulk and we are going to update the title. We're gonna say, technically before nurse, we're gonna put the specific um, word that goes in front of it, especially if it's that ECMO one, right? Cause that's the keyword that we wanna rank for. But since we're editing in bulk first, we're just gonna put a title that could work for most all of them. So yeah, let's just pretend that's the title. Now I'm gonna wanna go in here and hit overwrite so that this becomes the new title on all 28. Now, obviously I wanna go back to each one and write proper titles, or I would wanna put a proper title in here, but just for the sake of the video, those are the keywords that we're gonna put in. So we just edited the title. So if I apply to selected listings, we're gonna hit yes and continue. That is the new title. Now we'd wanna do the same thing for the descriptions. Come in here and write the new descri description or whatever it is. And we want to overwrite, apply to selected listings, right? And so this is how we can bulk make 28 listings all in one shot. So the next thing that we're gonna want to do is we are gonna actually want to edit this positioning before we put it on the mock-up so that it's on the top half of the shirt. So we have 28 selected. If I hit canvas here, we are gonna actually want to make this probably more so towards the top of the shirt and obviously centered. So let's pretend that is perfectly centered. This is kind of representing, you know, how it's gonna lay on a shirt. If this is the top part of the shirt, we want it to be more towards the top and centered. So let's just pretend that was perfectly centered. We're gonna overwrite all files. So what we can do at this point is we can come into assets and we can upload our mock-up if we have mock-ups and then place our design on the mock-ups but because we don't have any mock-ups we're going to actually go ahead and use the mock-ups that my designs have so if i come in here and i go to image mock-ups let's find the bella canvas 3000 just do this guy the primary color we want it to be white and then let's create mock-ups on all files so now if i wanted to go and actually publish this to my etsy store i'm going to hit publish products on etsy platforms we have our titles we have our description we have everything set up and we can go validate next obviously we want to fix that now we're going to come in here and choose the product that we want we chose the bella canvas 3001 which is this guy here. So now we can select the print provider that we want. Obviously Swift POD here is a little bit cheaper. We can come in here and select what colors we want to offer. And then we're gonna come in here and price our items. One extra pro tip here, one very common thing that people do with print on demand is they'll take the least sold variation option in color and they will make it almost a break even price or even maybe even losing a dollar. Um, and that would be like your ugliest color. So hot, red, size extra small because no one's gonna buy that color. And what that does is it shows the cheaper price on the front end and it actually earns you that click. So just another little hack. Now I just wanna show you, I'm not pricing this correctly. I'm just trying to show you for the sake of this video how my designs really just works for you to do everything in bulk so if i wanted all the prices to be close to the same i would come in here and hit replace and then hit apply and then it just added that price to everything and then i'm going to go to next step and then we can actually publish that design and it's going to publish all 28 designs completely at once. I just did this very fast for the sake of this video, but obviously for you, you would wanna make sure that you add more mock-ups, ideally a video, which my designs has a mock-up generator for video for you in there as well. But you can see as easy as that, I was able to upload 28 designs and get them in draft in my Etsy account all at once. My designs is super, super advanced when it comes to your print-on-demand experience because of that bulk bulk upload feature and it's basically designed so you can do everything in bulk because print on demand is such a again a horizontal scaling business it's all about how can you take over market share and have the most competitive listings compared to everyone else so i really really encourage you to check my designs out there's a link in my description with a discount code overall guys i hope you got some value out of this video make sure you check out that full interview with cassie johnson and hopefully i will see you guys in the next video bye guys